Hello fish lovers and welcome back to my channel. After two weeks of dozing uh, malachite green in my reef aquarium, I didn't have any success of eliminating ick from my fish. And that is why yesterday I did a water change. I put some activated carbon in a special uh, to self reactor that uh, I built. I kept that reactor running for one day to eliminate the remaining malachite green from my tank and I have started using cupramine well after the first dose of uh, cupramine all of my corals are dead I will show you guys in a second um, I have dosed this uh, cupramine 10 uh, milliliters yesterday and I'm going to have to add another 10 milliliters after 48 hours but I'm not, I'm not going to rely only on uh, the dosing that is mentioned here on the label I do have a copper test I'm going to test for the copper concentration and right now it's uh, 0.1 and I'm going to have to raise the copper concentration in my tank to 0 0.5 and keep it there for two weeks. After two weeks, if I do not have ick on my fish, I'm going to run activated carbon again in my reactor. That way I'm going to be sure that all of the water from my aquarium is passing through the activated carbon. I'm going to test for copper again and when the copper level reaches zero I'm going to restock my tank with my starfish, snails and some of the corals that I saved from this tank I'm sorry that I didn't save them, save them all there's no doubt in my mind that copper is way more powerful and toxic than uh, malachite green from the very first drop of copper in my tank all of my corals close it up and now they are dead or dying so copper is a really powerful poison I'm just going to keep an eye for uh, on my fish the concentration isn't high enough to kill the pig but I am going to raise the concentration of copper in my tank to 0.5 now, let me show you my corals and my fish. Well, you can see my fish. Uh, the powder blue tank is a little dark on the color, so it's really under some stress from the copper. But it's, it's still eating and doing fine. It does seem to still has some ick on it. But it's only 24 hours until the first dose of uh, cupramine. But what I want to show you guys it is my cars. Look at that. Absolutely deadly. With the Malakin Green, my soft cars were looking pretty good. But now they are all dying. You can see my Montipora over there. Let me try to... You can see it right now. Dead. Bleach. All white. And this one over here, it was growing so beautiful on the rock. I am sorry now that I didn't pull it out. And this one, this coral over here, it's new. I, I think I'm going to remove some of them and put uh, them in my other tank. I do have activated carbon in there. But I should have removed them all. I didn't thought that... Uh, copper it's so powerful let me show you let me put the autofocus here okay my blue tanks they still have some uh, white spots on them but other than that they are still eating but I don't know how it's going to be when I'm going to raise the copper concentration to 0.5 anyway I have a uh, I had a mushroom here, look at that. 
looking bad. No colors left on this rock. I took them out yesterday. And some soft colors in here also looking pretty bad. Yeah, they're going to die for sure. But you can see guys that my tank is mostly a fish only tank. I, the colors that I have are pretty cheap and I can always rebuy. I can always buy more colors. But I really don't want to lose any fish because fish are more expensive and I, I care more for my fish. So this is my course of action guys. Cupromain straight into my aquarium. I'm going to keep you guys updated. You can see the copper testing over there. It's a Sierra test. It does show cupramine. I tested that uh, before, adding it to my tank. It works great. It's, it's easy to read. I like it. And like I was saying, guys, I'm hoping that I'm going to save my fish. You can see the small aquarium over there. Now you understand that I couldn't put all of my tanks from this 2 meter aquarium into that 60 centimeters tank. I couldn't. The stress will be too high for them. Anyway, consider this day one of cupramin inside my reef aquarium. I'm going to do the same thing as I did with uh, Malachite Green. I'm going to do a, a video a blog with what will, will going to happen with Cupramin inside the Reef Aquarium and what problems I'm going to encounter the next days. Right, okay guys, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.